is something really big because when you think about it, I don't know how many World Cup finals you can remember top of your head actually now that we're talking about it. How many World Cups can you remember top of your head? For me, 2002, that, that was my first World Cup that I really watched and from first minute till the, the last minute, 2002 I can remember. And of course, the 2018 World Cup, a boring World Cup to be honest. One so your earliest oh. memories of the World Cup is 20... 2002. 2002. Yeah, Ronaldo. Ah, big Ronaldo. Yeah. That's my first World Cup to do as a journalist. <sighs> Loved it. Love. Where do you think I love Ronaldo that much? <laughs> that big was Ronaldo was, and then he was at the up. end. Then he was at the end. Now, if you saw him in 96, <laughs> 97, he was magnificent. Mm. Hilda? I think mine was 2006, the Zizou headbutt. I think that's... Ah. Yeah, that is something that comes in, on, ah, in but on Matarazzi. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when in 2010, that's when I got to really understand what football is really all about. 2010. 2010. One, one of quite possibly <laughs> the most boring World Cups ever, <laughs> in terms of results. If no, no, not not anything else, but just in terms of results. Uh, okay. No, it, it had too many one nils. I, I thought this the Spanish team was too one nil. It was one nil. It was one nil. They That's hogged boring. the ball. They kept the ball. I know people like Tiki Taka. I've never liked Tiki Taka because I think it's boring. It's boring to watch. There is no something. There's something he keeps on missing. You just something. want to sit on the edge of your that seat. Player. Yeah? Yeah. That player. Yeah. That player. Yeah. It's something it to me. It's it's, it's it's like you refuse with the ball. I want you to give the other guys the ball. Anyway, my earliest memory of the World Cup is, of course, I can vaguely, vaguely remember ninety. 86 and 90 vaguely like vaguely like there's a world cup something but the first one why i was like i can comprehend what's going on of course is the one Baggio hit the ball out <laughs> of the stadium <laughs> yeah and i was very happy by the way my my beef with italy starts from world cup 94 uh -huh. because world cup 94 they played nigeria and they did bad things to nigeria and that's the only way they beat nigeria in the round of 16 mm. they did they tackled they pulled they and then um, officiating wasn't as great as it is now, so the ref wasn't going to call most of those things. Mm. I still have the picture of the late Yakini with Costa Curta holding one hand and Maldini holding the other. They are literally hanging on him, <laughs> and he's moving. <laughs> My fight with Italy started then, 94 World Cup, because mm. I, because we all thought Nigeria would go at least to the quarters or to whatever. But so yeah, so from 94, uh, people have been talking about this being the best World Cup ever. Is it the best World Cup ever, really? In terms of the results, maybe. In terms of and the social, the, yeah, social media yeah. hype, because right now <coughs> it's everywhere. It's in our faces. Social but, media. but can we? Can we? Yeah. Sorry, the I know this is really good. Also, you know, shocking results: Saudi Arabia beating Argentina. Yeah. I know this is very hard for people to do because you're in the 21st century, we're in the era where social media matters everywhere. But can we just remove the social media being part of the reason it's the best World Cup and just look at quality-wise? Has it been the best World Cup? The way Infantino mm -hmm. told us this is the best mm -hmm. World Cup ever. No, I think it started slow, <coughs> and then now it picked up. It picked. It picked up, but I think it's probably the one of that is more accessible. As we, as you said, it was closer. Some people, uh, uh, a lot of people managed to go there. So I think to uh, that one and the the layer twenty ten, which was in South Africa as well. For me, I think my in, my favorite just for the atmosphere and for the fans, because fans are the ones who make a tournament. And for me, for twenty ten one remains in my mind because of the fans mm. it was just fantastic the vuvuzela the hype the noise that annoying thing called that the vuvuzela yes. yes it was in africa and, it, and then it was in africa <laughs> so yeah i think yeah teddy i'd say no no not really it's not the best world cup yet because uh the main thing why people are saying it's the best it's because it's uh it's uh it's uh mainly because it's uh you can say it's uh what do i say it i don't know you tell it's us like, um the results they are they're unpredictable, they're, they're unpredictable yeah. but guys how unpredictable has this world cup been let's be honest look at how look at it morocco mm -hmm. for, mm. for starters for every team you give me i'll give you a, a, a corresponding one all right uh -huh. you give me who I'm, I'm giving you morocco south korea 2002 where did they reach did they the reach? semi the semi yes and they beat big ways they beat italy they beat spain yeah but no, guys, 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 Morocco has been home throughout. <laughs> let's, let's not lie to ourselves. Morocco have been home away from no, home. No, 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 no. No, I'm no. saying in terms of, you know, you guys say, oh, shocks. I'm like, eh, South yeah, Korea did but, this but look, 20 years ago. And South Korea were pro had an even less probability, pedigree, if I can call it that, than Morocco had going to this world. But look at Morocco. They didn't have a coach. 
the coach had only been there for less than six months. Yeah, now we can't. Where, a, where, where are we crediting this organization? Because that's no, really no, no, you no. should have a coach. <laughs> if you are changing a coach three months to the tournament, the problem is you. And that's the beauty of it. They changed their coach six months, less than six months to the World Cup. That the coach that has shouldn't. To but that shouldn't. How disorganized I am today shouldn't count to when you're giving me props. You shouldn't mm. say. By the way, you know, James, you had a good take, but. It's even bigger because you only do did it at five minutes to the show. No, 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 no. We are looking at the text that I was disorganized before or that I hadn't made, made the right call before should not count in what I do. The thing is, we are the World Cup. So let us talk about Morocco have done well, but let's not say because the coach is only six months old. No, no, no. Mm. Let's credit the, the um, how, what do you call it? Them going to scout for their players all over Europe and making sure they all play for their team. Let's scout that academy they started more than 10 years ago. Let's mm. credit the billions of dollars they've Invested. used to build the game. Yeah. Let's credit all that. But the one credit I refuse to give is, but you know, their coach only took over six months. Uh -huh. Why, 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 why didn't they? Kwani the Greg is a new guy. He's been around. He's coached in Morocco. All the, why? Why did they have to wait until six months? We all knew he didn't get along. Uh, the former coach didn't get along with ZH. Why mm -hmm. did we have to wait? They ha Why are you making it sound like it was it, no? Because it was the disorganization of the officials. Exactly. But so the team managed to play. No, to who the organizes the team? The coach. Who but organizes the team? Is the, the officials? <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to give Morocco credit. At the only coach was on there for six months. Mm. I'll give them credit for everything else. They've yeah, played yeah, wonderful yeah. football. Mm. Um, I like the football they've played. I've, I've tweeted this over and over again. They've looked like a Jose Mourinho team. Mm. The way mm -hmm. they have played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Organized at the back. They never panic. They play out. Yes. If you notice, they're never ever scared of playing out. Yeah. Yesterday, Bono did random things. Mm. They And they knocked <laughs> the ball out. I still maintain they've done incredibly well to get to the semis of the World Cup. I, I didn't give them a chance. We had Benjamin Haji on Sport on, on Monday, and he was in Qatar, but he only bought tickets for three games because even he was so sure. Mm. One, two, three, Nyumbani. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then things changed, and then now you can't change. So you have got to go back. So they surprised everyone with what they did. Yes. But I, what I'm disagreeing with is what Ellie is saying because Morocco did the semi finals. I'm like, yeah, but. No, I have a question for you. What, what makes a great tournament for you? I think it's. I think it's everything else. It's the quality of football. Mm -hmm. It's the fans and the experience and the hype and everything else you can see about it. It's partly is also how the media sees all of it. And I know we are a bit biased because the Western media made us think mm -hmm. Qatar was terrible. Yeah. And Qatar, I think, has been great fun. Mm -hmm. I think I, have, I wasn't there. Uh, Kolima was. There's been great fun. Would there have been more fans? Would it have been more accessible? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Would it have done without all the hoopla around it? Maybe. Yeah. You know, like mm. it, it would have been, it would have been easier without all the the, the, the noises and everything. Yeah. But I'm not saying it's been a bad World Cup. I was just asking best ever. My question is not it's bad. Mm -hmm. I'm asking best ever. Like Infantino told us, it's the best ever <laughs> World Cup. And I was just asking from you guys, from your memories. Of course, we haven't been to any World Cup. None of us. Yes. 2010 was yeah. Which one is it? This one is it? That one? Uh, which one for you was your best World Cup? 2010s. 2010. But yeah. the quality of football, to be honest, has not been outstanding. If you look at the teams that have reached the, the World Cup final, let's talk. Up, let's look, for example, at France. Mm. At the beginning of the World Cup, we thought France were not going to get past the yeah. quarters. Let's, mm. let's, yeah, yes, quarters. Because, let's be honest. Yeah, because of you know, the you've lost Ngolo Kante, you've lost Pogba, you've lost. Days to the World Cup, of your World Cup opener, you've lost Benzema. Now, here's the Benzema who has won the UEFA Champions League. He's coming with an agenda of winning the World Cup. You know, he has yeah. not won the World Cup. He wasn't mm. there in 2018. Mm. But they have defied all odds with Chomini and Rabiot. Rabiot, who is... I have, let, the me, let, let, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you. <laughs> just just <laughs> pause, pause a little and go back and ask yourself... At the Euro 2021, they had all these people. What happened? They were knocked out. Why? They just mm. couldn't gel. They couldn't find an, a nice, good, soft spot. The players mm. fought against each other. Mbappe and Giroud. Mbappe and ben Benzema, Benzema and Giroud. And, and the teams, the families were fighting in the stands. The players were complaining about their pillows at their hotel. <laughs> True story. Mm. All those things. But then this World Cup, the build-up is still funny, funny. And then, what happens? Mm. The moment they dropped, mm. everything seemed to change. To, yes. So, we'll talk about this later. I don't want to preempt it when you're talking about the final. But I think 
that them missing those players has been a blessing. Yeah. All of you look at it mm. as, as a minus. It's been a blessing. Because there is more harmony. Yeah. There is more togetherness. Because most of the guys who dropped out are troublemakers. I know you don't want to hear that. Especially if you're a Pogba fan. Mm. But they are troublemakers. Mm. <laughs> when we are Pogba. <laughs> when we come back, uh, we look back at the at, at the game last night. Uh, Croatia versus Morocco. We see what happened. We give Morocco their flowers. By the way, I'm not not, not giving them their flowers. They've been excellent. We mm. give them their flowers. We also say Koheri to Luka Modric. And then we look forward to the final. Good morning.